So again, a super, super important piece. This was used by Han Solo in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. It's um, a non-firing blaster. This would have, they would have had a hero, which would have been a real gun, used for the close-up scenes. And then probably in all the other scenes where he'd be running around, he would have been carrying this type of gun. It's the only one that survived production. We don't know if the original version exists. Um, you know, it's you, you, you get all those great lines where, you know, he says to Luke, hokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. All right, this non-firing blaster was created for Empire and also used in Jedi. It is noteworthy because it was used in scenes that required the lighter version where Darth Vader uses the Force to lasso the blasters out of Han's hand in Empire. And in Jedi, Han wrestles with a stormtrooper to gain possession of his blaster during the Rebels' encounter with the Imperial forces at en Ender. So, you know, those type of scenes, fighting scenes, this is the type of gun that would have been used. Uh, this is expensive. We have it estimated at two hundred to $300,000.